Hi guys, this is Rampant FM, and today I'm back with uh, another video. Something a wee bit more advanced today. I get, keep getting asked these questions. Uh, so today we're going to show you how to make a league playable in FM that's not already playable. Plus, we'll show you how to uh, basically verify the rules. So we go up to Add Nation Rules, and we'll go down to Zimbabwe, who are our our uh, tests. Uh, you won't see it in current nations because they're the ones that are playable, so you have to go to other nations and you'll see all the sort of different... Uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you can't just type it in. You actually have to scroll down. I did have to pick Zimbabwe for this, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> so we are at Zimbabwe. Next, we'll go to settings. And you can actually change the the update, which is basically the pre-season, but we'll just go with it. I think the standards like the English Premiership, so we'll just go with that. Uh, you can add transfer windows. I think it's always better to. I think if you leave it blank, it transfers happen at any time. Uh, but just in case, I don't actually know 100%. Uh, these dates might change, like a couple of days, for example, uh, but they should be around this sort of time. But yeah, always add transfer windows just in case. Um, the, the game, the way it is, might actually add ones for you if you don't, basically. Uh, we're also going to look at... Uh, I always like the 5, 10, 15 for the, the booking, so we'll go with that. But uh, always sort of add things when you can because the, the FM does have a habit of adding things for you if you don't. Uh, you can do work permit rules if you want. You don't actually have to. Uh, this is the main one. You have to add the league. So we'll go with single division. We'll go with the premiership. Uh, number of rounds two, I think it's 18 teams. So you want to, them to play each other twice. Uh, you can have as many subs as you want. I always go, I always like the, the bigger ones, three from nine. But you can go with the standard three from seven, but I like three from nine. Uh, we're not going to do promotion or relegation places because obviously uh, we're just going with one league today. But you could add a, a subdivision. That was the other option there. But just for the sake of this video, we're, we're going with one. So uh, we'll go to cups because we need to add a cup here. And. Uh, I don't actually know what we would qualify for, but we'll go with an FA Cup, which is, I think, the Zimbabwean Cup, so that's fine. Uh, and we have to add the, the teams that are going to be in the Zimbabwean Cup. And there is actually a lower division in Zimbabwe, so we'll have to add that as well. But I could have added that as a secondary, but that's not the purpose of this video. I, I'm just showing you what you can do. Most of this stuff, stuff is like self-explanatory. Um, extra time, penalties. I think if you just put penalties, it is extra time and penalties. So it should be fine. And we'll go with three from nine again. And we'll make the match day on a Saturday as well. And I'll show you how to basically basically uh, do that as well. So uh, there's a lot of things. As again, I don't like doing these videos because it's too... Some people are looking for really specific things and it doesn't apply to everyone. So I try and do videos that kind of apply for everyone. But you can go into... a you, you kind of have to do this, but you have to go into the divisions. Uh, you, you can leave the sort of points for a win, draw, and whatnot, but uh, always change it to, if it's your highest one, you can change it to domestic league high, uh, but it doesn't really matter. But these are the options. Uh, one thing you have to do is you have to, <laughs> uh, you have to do the league sorting, but we'll do that in a wee minute. I'm just uh, going through it. Uh, dates is obviously the standard, Saturday, 3 o'clock, but you can change that. You can even add... Um, uh, yeah, check 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 for clashes also if anyone gets called up to internationals, for example. Uh, you can get the game postponed. You can have a break. The break period is basically uh, uh, if you've got a winter break, for example, but in Zimbabwe, I don't think they have one. But yeah, it's up to you is what you want to add, really. Uh, these are the match rules, and a lot of people have asked about this. If you want to take out match rules or league rules you have to do this you can't it's not a simple way of removing it so you actually have to add new ra new nation rules to even playable leagues uh, which is a bit annoying I, I wish there was a simpler way of removing it but yeah so that someone asked me recently and I, I get asked that quite a lot so you have to actually do this to uh, even on a league that's playable to remove the the match rules it's not a simple case of uh, of basically uh yeah, uh, of, of just basically, there's no, there's no simple way of doing it, basically. You have to actually do this. But this is uh, this is the most important thing. The league sorting rules, you have to put po uh, points, goal difference, 
um, goals for and stuff. If you don't, the save will be completely ruined. Uh, the league will not make sense. I've uh, done that and actually forgot a few times <laughs> to, to add this. Uh, and basically the league just stayed the same, I think, alphabetically. So uh, you have to add this. Uh, it's just crucial that you add the points, the goal difference, the goals for. Uh, you, you can do matches between teams as well, but uh, that's the one I usually go with. But uh, there's, the, you, some, there's some stupid stuff in there, like discipline record and whatnot. I mean, why? Why would you have that? Um, but yeah, match matches between teams is uh, good for a fourth. But yeah, you can add television money, you can add, uh, well, you don't need a relegation parachute uh, payment. You can use uh, specific fixtures if you want to. I mean, that's going really, really advanced. Uh, yeah, I don't. you don't really need to do that. <laughs> but yeah, th this is all self-explanatory, but always sort of make sure you do the league sorting rules. That's like the main thing you need to remember. Um, you can play on Christmas Day if you want to. You could add, add a winter break, as I said, but I'm not going to bother because it's... Yeah, <laughs> uh, fixture rules. This is uh, what I mentioned before. You can add uh, squad rules and squad size, like uh, the Premiership twenty five players, all this sort of stuff. The game might add some for me uh, for likes of loans. Well, we might see that later. Um, it shouldn't be a biggie, but sometimes like club visions, for example, I'll add them uh, just just for the sake of it. Sometimes, but yeah, penalties you can do golden goal if you want to. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go too far into detail. But you can change the dates of the cup games. Uh, make sure one reason you have to check for clashes is because if you've got a cup game, uh, it changes the the league game basically. But you can have that any time. You can have the the final at any time. You can change uh, where the final is. So I've just put National Stadium. Uh, I don't know what the National Stadium in Zimbabwe is, but um, you can have change the prize money change uh, the prize money for loser, the appearance money, add a third place playoff if you want to. You can make it over two legs. But yeah, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm not going to go too advanced because there's uh, there's just no point for a sort of throwaway uh, tutorial. Use main teams. You can, uh, let's have it on a Monday like the Premiership. You can change the match day. Let's make it like 12 or something. I think that's the, the standard. Uh, but things like that is, is quite easy. And uh, if you want to, you can put a second uh, reserve and youth team, maybe like an under-23, under-18s, if you want to. But I don't think the Zimbabwe teams will be that full. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure that maybe they are. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much... I just went over pretty much everything. Uh, loan rules. See, there's no loan rules there. Uh, you could add them if you want to. The game might add some. Uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, I do have them enabled there, but yeah, uh, you'll see that it's not verified. This is where most people come for. I can save it like that, uh, and I'll just put Zimbabwe because it's easy. As I say, always simple and easy ways, uh, easy things that you're going to remember to know exactly what it is. Um, but yeah, if I keep that enabled, it might actually add rules for me, so always disable that. But test rules, it's valid, but people that are asking how to verify rules will know that does not it's not always the case what I, you're probably using is advanced rules so i'm going to convert this to advanced and uh, it actually changes a lot you can do a lot more in advanced rules like you can change like you could, you could yeah basically you can change a lot more uh but i don't like losing advanced too much because um because it's just too much to work with uh, really i don't i prefer basic but uh so all you do is save it and this is where the, the verify rules thing comes into. A lot of people ask about this. You go to rules and you go to test rules. Uh, you, there's probably more leagues uh, for yours, but always go to all. And what I'll do, I'll start creating it and loading it, uh, run the competitions, basically. Uh, because it's one division, it should it should be quite fast. Once it's uh, once it's verified, it will come up, divisions verified, zero, like one and one or one or two or two, three or three, whatever, however many divisions you've added. Uh, so that should be good to go, save, uh, and we'll kick over to FM. So we'll go to add leagues. You'll see that Zimbabwe now appears under Africa with uh, South Africa. So we'll add that. Um, and we'll just give it a wee check. Uh, we'll just remove England because we're not going to be playing this, but it's just a test, as I say. So uh, looking at some of these names, uh, Caps United, Cranbourne Bullets, FC Platinum, I like the look of them. 
Triangle United, wah wah, wah wah wah. That's brilliant. Uh, but no, the one the one that's caught my eye actually uh, <laughs> is uh, that chicken in, uh, which we're gonna have a look. But as I said about club culture and stuff, it's just random if you don't add it in the editor. I think if one doesn't have a club vision, it just adds it. So it's always usually signed players under the age of twenty three. So we are now the manager of checking in. Uh, we're just going to double check. But yeah, like if you put it on June, it, it just, it's kind of like the English Premiership. You'll see that the cup's loaded there. Always make sure that that comes up. Uh, sometimes if you're on like further in the round, it, it might not, but just double check everything. Uh, obviously alphabetical at the moment. Um, let's look at the rules. So three points for a win, one for a draw is fine. Number of teams, goal difference, 34 teams. Yep. Uh, no trialists allowed. There's no transfer rules that I see. Uh, because I enabled loans, there might be, yeah, there's a couple for a loan. Uh, oh, no, the transfer window's changed by a couple of days, uh, which is it's not a massive hassle. So, yeah, the, because I enabled loan rules, they, uh, they did change. They did add a couple. So, yeah, always disable that. I, that's the that main thing. Even if you don't add it, make sure it's disabled. So there should be no transfer uh, rules or no squad rules that are applicable to this. Uh, I actually quite like squad rules and stuff. I think it's interesting. I think it makes it more of a challenge. So if you want to, you could obviously add millions of rules and uh, stuff like that. But yeah, I always find them uh, like Brexit. A lot of people don't like Brexit in the game. I actually quite like it because it, it makes you think like what good English players can you buy? What good sort of British players can you buy? So let's just have a look at their team actually. I don't know. Can't really name anyone there. Uh, Liberty Chokoroma looks good, ability. Obviously, good uh, in the Zimbabwean league. I don't know how. Yeah, I've, I've never heard of the guy. But yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the videos. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, something a wee bit more advanced today. I appreciate all the likes and subs recently. But hopefully I'll be back with uh, more and uh, we'll see you soon.